and welcome back to another episode of Asia One Tries. I'm Muna and today we are in Kampong Ubi. So I assume we're going to do something related to the Malay culture. But then again, I've learned not to trust the producers. So they might just be throwing me off. So can you just give me my hints, please? Here are three hints for you. And if you guess the activity correctly, it'll help you in the activity challenge later. Okay. Round, rhythm, celebration. I'm playing an instrument. Maybe. Muna, you have two more chances. It's a Malay dance. Yes? Muna, you have one more guess. Like Zafin. Or oh, Zafin. <laughs> like, because you go around, right? Unfortunately, you got that it wrong. <laughs> so, the activity that you'll be trying today is learning how to play a kompang. I've actually played the kompang before, but not like professionally or trained. It's just I see a kompang and then, like, you just kind of like. So, I'm very excited to learn properly. Let's go. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> yeah. Hi. hi, I'm Muna. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Hello. Been here. Uh, welcome to the Singapore Hadja and Kompang Association. And nice to meet you, Muna. Thank you very much. So, tell me about what you do here at Pehats and how did it get started? It started off from uh, way back in 1978 where those Kompang activists they gathered and uh, they tried to form up. We have meetings, we have trainings here. I mean, the, the objective is to preserving traditional kumpang beating. We will organize uh, workshops, especially for new teams, get together with some other countries from, from Malaysia to have a program exchange. Okay, and what is Kompang and what is the history of Kompang? It started off from, um, actually from Middle East. It flows down to Indonesia, mm. you know. So until Malaysia then come to Singapore. What kind of occasions are Kompangs usually played at? Okay, basically we have the wedding celebration, mm -hmm. Prophet Muhammad's birthday celebration mm -hmm. procession. And even now, we are involved in the Chingi procession. So events to celebrate and to create awareness about different yes, cultures. Right. Okay, Mona, would, would you like to try? Yes, I'm ready. Come. <laughs> okay, so take me through the different kompangs and the different components. And this is what we call jido. Normally, it's being used in like now, Malay wedding. What we have here is the kompang. I talked about it just now. The sound of this. And this can compound is different. Basically, this is made of wood. This is the uh, wood skin. What we have here is the hadra. Yeah, ah, so this is the one. Symbol is here. The symbol. Okay, the hadra is smaller than this. Yeah. Okay, the size of kompang normally was 14 inch. Okay. For hadra, it could be 11 inch, it could be 12 inch. Okay, and then this one, this is different. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, this, this is made of X-ray plastics. Oh, really? Yes. Why? Uh, trying out a process or trying out uh, oh. some other means. Okay, so trying to find an alternative. Mm, yes. Can you teach me maybe the basics of playing a kompang? If, if you are what you call a right-handed, huh. then you'll be you'll be with your right hand. Yeah. So you hold with your left hand. Okay, generally, we have three simple beating. In high pitch, that means you got your palm here, mm -hmm. touch, touches here. This is the high pitch. And low pitch tone is you close your finger, half of your palm here. Okay, low pitch. Yes. So these are the different components yeah. of a whole component. Correct, the basic. Can I watch a whole demonstration? Okay. Are you going to show me yeah, that? Yeah, sure, sure. Yes. Not. Bismillah. Okay, first we have the first beating or the normal beating, what we call as Malalu. Okay, this is Mr. Abu. 
Mr. Didi here will be playing the off beat or what we call menyelang. Mr. Shamir to do the third beating that is menikah. So shall we have two people here will coordinate three beating? So, Muna, are you ready to take your challenge? Yes, I think so. But which beat am I going to play? <laughs> Since you guessed the activity, Gongdi, mm. you will place Mr. Shamil in the rhythm beat. That is the most complicated one. Yes. Okay, then I think I will try my very best. All the best. Okay, Muna, are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Joining the Kompang troupe. Tell me, on a scale of 1 to 10, what do you think? 4. 4? Okay, okay, okay. It's not so far from a fail, but it's very close to a just pass. So how long does it usually take for someone to be proficient three at Kompang? 3 months. Yeah, it's 3 months. For a new learner, it's okay what, what you have done here. Thank you so much, right, guys, for helping me. Thank you. Thanks, I'll Thanks. give this back to you. Thank you. Thank At least I can say I tried, right? Whether I'll come back, I don't know. Okay, thank you, Jamal. But I think maybe compound playing is not in my future anymore <laughs> for the time being. Uh, I want to know, are there any modern or contemporary ways of compound playing? Yes, there is. There are fusion beats also with instruments other than the kompang itself. The big drums, the Brazilian, Brazilian drums, they, they, play, they play samba with kompang. What is the cultural significance of kompang in Singapore? Where we can uh, really uh, educate or share the traditional ways of uh, beating kompangs. So PIHA will be doing, will be having the workshops, competitions. Future generation, especially from the younger generation, they really understand what is Kompang beating about. Yeah, yeah. Do you feel like the Kompang itself helps to shine a lot more light on the Malay music culture in Singapore? As far as music is universal, Kompang can blend in with other culture. We ever collaborated with Chingay, Lion Dance. You know, we, we just listened to their beat. We, we were going into our style of beating to match with their beating. It's not impossible to, to blend in these uh, elements on. As I said just now, music, music is universal. Yeah. Thank you for sharing and thank you for trading me. <laughs> to play the kompang. I might try again yeah, sure. <laughs> one day, but not today. Actually, my heart was broken when he said four points. <laughs> the challenge was really difficult. I mean, first of all, I had to do the hardest beat. I didn't get any help. So I think today was the my downfall. <laughs> but what I love about it is that he always says that music is universal. So that gives me a bit of hope, right? Because whatever music you choose to make, maybe someone will find joy in it. And with that, thank you very much for watching this episode of Asia One Tries. Please watch the next episode where I will try my very best to score 10 points to make up for the six points I lost. Heart pain, you know? It's very heart pain. <laughs>